All right, well, I heard from a couple people that they want me to look at today's periodal. So uh, one person said they have a chem final tomorrow, but I think maybe the message was from yesterday, so probably today. Uh, so they would like me to start with the word finals, so we're going to do that. And somebody else said that they were trying to do yesterday's periodal, spilled tea all over their keyboard, cleaned it off, and somehow number 243 popped up. And um, anyways, so I thought that was funny. And just yet another reason why you shouldn't drink tea. I know, everybody's gonna, I'm gonna get lots of hate in the comments for saying you shouldn't drink tea. I, personally, I don't like tea or coffee. I'm the weird person that doesn't like either one of those, so. Um, but if you like it, it's good for you. All right, so we're gonna start with finals. So the way periodal works, by the way, it's like Wordle, but uh, all of our guesses have to be made up of the abbreviations from the periodic table, so. Okay, so the N and the S, those are green. Um, there's no F, no I. Now, there could be an A or an L, just because we don't have aluminum doesn't mean eliminate those letters individually. It just means the A and the L can't be together in the answer. Uh, so the N and the S, interesting. So what's gonna come between the N and the S? Uh, you know, looking at single letter possibilities, I don't think, C, maybe C, I don't, I don't really like C. B, probably not. P is possible, but still, I don't really like that either. Now Y is looking better. V, no, H, no, K, K is pretty good. K is pretty good for a single letter in between there. Not W. Uh, I mean, you could do a U. Hmm. Otherwise, otherwise it's gonna be a two letter. Um, and then you've got quite a few possibilities actually, but I like the K, I like the NK, so something something, NKS, what would that be? Ooh, something, I was gonna say banks, because we've got a B, but there's no A by itself. We could do something ONKS maybe? That would be good. Um, bonks, bonks would work. Just to check more, checking single letters is good because if, if we don't have an O, for example, then you can't have cobalt or the OS one that I can't remember what it is, or, you know, all those different ones that have that letter, so. Okay, it is NKS. Uh, so, there's no I, there's no O. Obviously, we've gotta have a vowel in here somewhere. Now, interesting, let's think about this. Before the N, are we gonna have another consonant? I don't think so. I think it's gonna be a vowel. Now the only vowel that we have that's a single one is U. Could it be something like this? Um, it could actually. Uh, otherwise it's gonna have to be a two letter abbreviation that ends in a vowel. Actually, punks would work. And that's another way to check some individual. Now, we've already eliminated I and O. If we can eliminate U, there won't be that many possibilities, I don't think. Hmm. So. Or hunks. Ooh, do I want to do punk? Hunks might be better. I feel like, well, is there more elements with a P or with an H? Maybe there's more with a P, actually. We've got H E. Uh, there aren't that many with H's. H G, but we're not going to use H G. I, I feel like H G is not going to come up very often at all in this puzzle, in, in, in periodal in general. GH is much more likely to come up than HG. Um, we don't have that many with H's actually, so... Maybe punks is better. There's more of them with P, I feel like we got. Well, I mean like PD, PT, those probably aren't gonna be in there. PM, PR, PR could. Uh, P A P U. Oh, we can't do upunks. Uh, hmm, so hunks or punks? Can't decide. Let's do punks. That was the first one I thought of, and I think there's more abbreviations with P than H. Maybe. I think either one really doesn't have that many that are that are good. It's a P. Okay. So, uh, oop. Uh, no, it can't be planks. Uh, planks? Could be planks. There's no I, O, or U, so it's got to be an A or an E for the vowel. And 
E, I mean, what? So, so P and then another consonant and then a vowel? That almost feels like it has to be L. Or R. R-A would work too. Is there an R-A? I don't know if there's even an R-A. Oh, radium. Of course there's an R-A. Radium. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know that. <laughs> so it could be planks or pranks. I think it's got to be one of those two, though. Because it has to be an A or an E. And E-N-K-S. I don't know what that would be. Yeah, pranks or planks. So, I mean, pl planks was my first thought. So let's go with that one. Okay, I think it's gonna be pranks. Okay, there we go, it was pranks. All right, cool. All right, well, uh, the person who spilled their tea said they got it in six and said, see if you can beat that. Well, there you go, I did, I got it in five. <laughs> Just barely beat it. But yeah, that's an interesting one. So especially with all of the single letters, a lot of times you have more double letter ones in there. So um, I feel like the N and the S at the beginning definitely helped a lot because the K was the natural guess there. And then, yeah, so. Anyways, let me know how you did with today's periodal, and if you have a chem final today, good luck on that. And be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. But that got me thinking, what does your welcome mean? And why do we say it? Or for that matter, what does... Okay, okay, so that's where the R is. Uh, so the C and the H and the Y are no good, so there's gotta be an O. Oh, wonder, wonder. Okay, so we can do, ooh, ooh, we have peaking. It could be speaking, actually.